So it's Friday morning, and by morning I mean 3 p.m. I'm gonna go get my phone from my secret supplier. <laughs> Dark alley time. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 -na. Permission granted. The phone has been acquired. Hello and welcome back to cleaning my room part two. I'm just kidding, or maybe not. Well, it really depends on what we plan to do this week. I know that I'm gonna need this floor space if I'm gonna be working with giant pieces of fabric so if we get there then we'll do that but mainly I need to sort my cosplays out so I can know which one to sell which one to recycle reuse deconstruct etc let's start over hi welcome to my second cosplay whip vlog with work in progress we're gonna continue working on Yamu's bra. You can see the last time I already did uh, the cosplay cover. I mean, the bra cover. And this time we're gonna work with some foam. Spoiler alert! I don't think that I will finish uh, the bra this time either. I ordered some beads on eBay and they have yet to arrive yet, which is fine. That only means there's gonna be another vlog. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, if you look really closely, you'll notice that I have one tiny earring and one giant earbud because the other tiny one kind of fell off while I was gaming and now I'm stuck with wearing that one giant thing because I'm scared that the whole clothes is. I got them done last year because I wanted to cosplay Zoro and be super accurate and so here we are. The only other things that I had were like these giant chandelier earrings and that's clearly not practical for everyday use. They're fake by the way, don't try and come rob me. So. This is how it's gonna be until I figure out what I want to do. Anyways, back to cosplay. Last time we worked with this bra cover pattern that we made and we're gonna work with the other pattern that we made. Here's a reminder of what the design looks like. So we're gonna work on making and assembling these uh, shell petals to make it into the cup that's gonna go over the bra cover. But before we can do that with this, we have to trace some extra lines so that they can be glued together and assembled to form this and hold onto this. Uh... So let's get to it! Hopefully this is enough for it to all assemble together and hold. You can see here that I added the little flaps that'll go like for example piece one is gonna stick to piece two, piece two is gonna stick to piece three and it's gonna all play together. But I just wanted to show you guys. You see that? My little earring that fell off. Anyways, I think it just broke in half. But yeah, back to this. Now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, cut it. And we're done cutting, but you might be wondering why there's like little triangles on the sides. I figured that the shapes are gonna be curved and they're gonna do like that. And then I proceed to ramble on, but I just wanted to say to make space for the curvature. I keep a bag of foam scraps under my bed. It holds everything from EVA foam to thin insulation foam to thick insulation foam. No wasting allowed. Any piece that won't fit on that, I'll just cut on the big sheet. So we're gonna start by using my scrap foam first. So whatever can fit onto these, I'm gonna do that first. Basically how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna trace it, fold the little flaps so that I can also get that flat line and uh, the markings that I left earlier. So just like this, I have my first piece. And I subsequently repeated for all the pieces multiplied by two. I need a right side copy and a mirror side copy for all the two shell cups that I'm going to make. When I'm done with that, I take out my giant cutting mat and my trusty X-Acto knife to start cutting through all the pieces. Shh, shh, shh. 
I was gonna give you guys a bit of foam cutting ASMR, but I ended up struggling a little bit because my blade was blunt. A struggle. So I'm gonna show you how I sharpen my blades, but again, keep in mind, I am no professional, so don't follow my mediocre ways of doing it. Well, actually, it's a valid technique to sharpen your exacto, but I'm sure there's at least a more efficient direction to do this in, but it's good enough for me. Okay, maybe it could have been better, but I'm gonna blame the weird angles for the whole shaking. I mean, look, pretty clean. So filming this vlog kind of took longer than I thought it would, like a good two weeks. And in the meantime, my ears got super irritated from the giant studs. I think they were just too big and I think when I was sleeping on them, it just irritated them more. So my ears were constantly itchy and swelling and that was not cool. So I went ahead and uh, got new earrings. I kind of wanted to get something a bit more fancy, but I realized that I don't care anyways at the end of the day. So I just got some, some God knows what. <laughs> but they are super cute, I think. Here are all the tools that I'm gonna be using for my next segment. I have my Dremel with the attachment, my hair accessory, my heat gun, my respirator, and my trusty raincoat impermeable to protect me from all the dust or make the cleaning easier at least. Before I start gluing the pieces together, I'm gonna go outside and round these edges so that I can seal them and then put the contact cement after on the phone. Be nice outside today, so I moved my whole station to work outside. Oh, I can't flip the camera. So, here's my improvised workstation. And uh, yesterday was actually the first day of fall, so we're gonna enjoy what we can that's left of the warmth before the snow comes. It's always important to gear up before you get to work. First up, some lovely trembling sound for my neighbors. And afterwards, we follow up with the sweet melody of the heat gun. If for some reason you thought the cosplay was a glamorous hobby, you thought wrong, son. But I mean, I do look pretty cool. Next up, we get to dabble with some industrial grade contact cement. I mean, for real, guys, this, this is toxic, potent, and actually banned in some countries, too. If you ever decide to work with this, Absolutely, absolutely wear a respirator and as much as possible work in a well-ventilated area. And I'm talking to you friends who don't do this. I see you out there. So I'm just waiting for it to dry and then we can go and glue them all together. So after about 5 to 10 minutes, the glue dries and any two surfaces that has the glue that comes in contact with each other will cement. Ha <laughs> ha! Hence, contact cement. You might be wondering why I'm passing the heat gun over it again. Well, the first time was to make sure that all the pieces are sealed and the second time is just to facilitate the shaping. I try as much as possible to make a shape that makes sense because all the reference lines I drew were useless! Oh my god, guys. It actually looks so good! Okay, gotta make the other one. I was babbling about safety earlier, but I totally burnt my finger on the heat gun. Whoops. But I managed to finish up my second bra. Oh. Alright. Time to move back inside, I'll see you there! Alright, next is prime time! But my secret is that I add a bit of white paint to save me some priming time. Ah! 
To further prepare the surface, you'll notice that I put a little paste on the joint where the two foam pieces meet to help smooth out the surface before I put on the primer. So this is Flex Bond with white paint and a little bit of water and it's supposed to help uh, keep your paint flexible on the foam. We're just gonna let these dry overnight and uh, tomorrow I'll either figure out what color to paint them and start painting them or figure out the attachments. So either put in some magnets on the back or some velcro so that they can stick to the bra cover. Well, over the next day, and I finally finished about four or five really diluted layers of flex blonde with white paint. I made a mess trying to save the rest, but I finally did. And uh, I put some water in there, hopefully it'll keep it alive for longer until I need it again. I'm looking at Yamu's design right now, and uh, her bra is sometimes like a pastel pink, and sometimes dark, almost coral pink. So I'm not sure what color I want it to. Oh, that's like really pink. So yeah, I'm not sure what color I want it to be. Pale colors don't really suit me too well, so I might just go... Ooh, she's so pretty. With uh, something a bit darker. So I know that my paint has a tendency to dry a bit darker than what it looks like. So... I'm gonna add a bit more white and one more drop of white and one more drop of white and plenty more drops of white actually I had a feeling that we would run out of paint because that was a puny amount of paint. So here is an industrial amount of paint. You know, in my first video, I did say that you guys would be sitting on my monitor a lot, so here you'll be. I'm going in with a second coat of paint so that we can cover up all the white that we can still see of the foam. And ooh wee, it's looking smoothy. Next, we're gonna do a little contouring, shadowing with a darker paint. I didn't think that the red was dark enough, so I dabbled in a tiny bit of black. We're gonna go around and trace the contours of each shell petals just to give it more dimension and more life. To make it pop even more, I'm gonna add some highlight. And for that, I kind of just go in with my fingers because I prefer painting with my fingers a lot more since I feel like I have more control and you're more like one with your work. So I finish both sides and you can see it in the daylight. They're actually just holding on by duct tape right now. And you know, worst comes to worst, it could always be a good solution. I still all might as well use a nice coat of varnish too. So it was Friday morning, October 2nd, and I really needed to finish my video today because I've put it off for long enough. But I've kind of been a bit sick, I don't know. I caught a bunch of weird stuff, my gums, my lips, my palate are all destroyed, but I should be okay for the next video. It's just like, you know, all not all healed yet. And I don't want to traumatize any of you guys. <laughs> so we finished working on those shells. What am I saying? We're not finished. Well, we finished the base. So we've got these nice foam cups over here. I just wanted to open some stuff and show you guys what I got. So technically this should be decoration for the bra that we're gonna work on next time. This is some gold trims. I'm pretty sure this is for the costume though and not for the bra. And there we go, this! So I mentioned I ordered some beads online and here they are. It's just strands of beads, but you know, I'm gonna use it to outline contour these to match the design that I wanted to go with. So we're gonna be doing that next time. Probably gonna add some beautiful dreaded sequins. 
the rest of the beads and uh, probably some flour to complete my design. So last time I also asked if you guys had any questions and I received one from Zyko Sass. He asks, where is the furthest you've been for a con? It's probably gotta be Katsukon, which I went to twice already. Once in 2019, once in 2020, right before this quarantine started. That was pretty much the last con that I went to. <laughs> Thank you Zyko Sass for your question. Thank you guys for being so patient and waiting for the second vlog. I can't promise that I'm gonna be faster for the next one. I can't promise that there will be another one. But thank you for sticking through all till the end. I will see you maybe next time.